Hey friends, welcome back. So I'm sure you've noticed if you've been with the channel for a while that I tend to overcomplicate things. And as I get more experience and as I learn more, I find that there are much easier ways to do certain things. So today I've decided to remake the CBG substrate video because I've discovered that it's much easier than I made it look in my last video. Before we get started, I do want to just drop a reminder here that these videos are free and ad-free thanks to viewer support. If you want to support, uh, jump on over to my website, oneearthmushrooms.com. There you will find links to send money on Venmo or subscribe to my Patreon, or better yet, best of all, uh, check out some of the products I got for sale there, including all the products that you see here used today. And just one other reminder, I'll drop a link in the comments or in the description below. Um, I, whenever I have a written procedure for something, I put that on the website as well. So the written procedure for this is linked directly below. And also, if you just want to head over to the website, you can find it there. So without further ado, let's do it. To create our substrate, we'll need coca coir, vermiculite, gypsum, a bucket with a lid, some 70% isopropyl alcohol and a wipe, a sturdy mixing spoon, a scale or a measuring cup, and not pictured, you will need a way to heat water, so a pot and a stove. Start by using the isopropyl alcohol to spray down the inside of the bucket. This is just to kill off any latent bacteria, spores, any competing organisms that might be in the bucket. Make sure you give the lid a good spray too. Use the towel to wipe it all down. You'll notice that it will dry pretty quickly. Next, we'll add our cocoa coir to the bucket. And if it's not already broken up into small chunks, go ahead and break it up into chunks that are at least as small as a golf ball. If you have questions about how much cocoa coir, vermiculite, and gypsum to use, my website, oneearthmushrooms.com, has a free and easy to use calculator that would be really helpful in this situation. Next, we'll measure out the appropriate amount of water and obviously I'm just using regular tap water here. Bring it over to the stove, put it on high heat until it boils. And then we're gonna add the gypsum into the water. When we add the gypsum to the water, it prevents it from caking inside the substrate later. And it gives it a more even dispersal throughout the entirety of the substrate. Pour the boiling water into the cocoa coir. And some of the gypsum will settle, so just as you get down to the bottom of the water, give it a little swish and swirl. And then on top of the now moist cocoa coir, dump your vermiculite. Now we're just gonna put the lid on and let it sit for about 30 minutes to cool down so it's not burning us as we're trying to mix it. Give it a good mix, put the lid back on, and then we're gonna let it cool all the way to room temperature. And then this is a way that I mix it after it's completely cooled. Just grab the whole bucket, shake it around, and that seems to do a pretty good job mixing it. And that's it, your CVG substrate is now ready to go. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the remake of this video. I hope this procedure is easier than the last one. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, etc., drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for joining and I'll see you again soon.